One of the videos that I've never actually done in London is a super wide POV. Now I've done a 14 to 24, which I think you'll also agree is pretty wide, but I've never done a POV with a 12 mil. Now this is the 12 to 24 f 2.8 G Master from Sony and is by far the most expensive lens that I've ever bought. So to be honest, this is a more of like, let's see how it looks. There's some amazing architecture around London. I'm gonna walk the streets. It feels so good to be back. It's beautiful weather. Let's see what we can get. Um, if I come and stand up here with the 12 mil, I should be able to get like pretty much everything in it. I'm just gonna wait for somebody to walk down. I mean, the lighting's pretty mad. Got some people going down the stairs. It's not the ideal lighting, but definitely uh, does okay. Sorry. <laughs> Taking up the entire frame, but look, it's not bad. You know, it just feels good to be back shooting in London, walking the streets with my Sony, talking to you guys. This is also the Sony A7R5, just as a note. So it is a very expensive setup. This is more just about going out with a wide angle lens and it doesn't really matter all that much about the body. It's mostly about the lens that we're talking about today. So any other standing camera with this lens would look insane. A pretty cool shot here is this light coming in with the shadow. Might be able to get a little bit lower to get a bit more perspective. So of course it'd be absolutely rude of me if I didn't come down to Chinatown and take some shots on the 12 mil because it's so busy as uh, obviously it's going to be busy in Chinatown it always is one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to go to fourth of a second f22 ISO 50 I don't have ND filters for this purely because of the element of the end come down the other side because it looks a little bit more pretty um, and I think at 12 mil we can probably come over to the left hand side and get this kind of shot. So I'm gonna use this as a bit of a tripod, get a nice anchor in there. And then the idea is to get some people walking through the frame. I mean, for the great scheme of things, it's not really gonna give us anything because of the, the time of day. Hey, hey, how are you? It's so nice to see you good around. Good to see you, man. Watching your YouTube channel for so long. Appreciate it. It's good to be back, man. Yeah, it's okay we take a selfie. Of course, bro. Of course, of course, of course. Well, nice <laughs> to meet you. Good to meet you. Good to meet you. Oh, show me the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah sick, man. Yeah, sick. Have so a good nice one. See, see you later, dude. Oh, man, I miss being in London. That's what it's about. I missed it. I miss being out shooting and just meeting you guys and just, yeah, seeing the support in the community. I just love it. Some nice lighting coming in here. Quite a nice shot of this dude storming his way through. Oh. Yeah, yeah, well, goes into a bit of a boring section, but might be able to still get a cool shot. We'll peel back away and go. I want to dip down the other side, but I think that looks pretty cool for what it is. I want to go into the lighting though, because this lighting is really nice at the moment. Oh, it's hectic today. It's only 12 o'clock. It's quite nice. Mm. Guy coming towards me is quite a vibe. It's not bad, but it's not great. What about? using the phone box. Well, this is actually quite a nice frame, you know? Such a weird life I live, isn't it? I've come into a pissy phone box to take a nice photo of the streets of Chinatown. Okay, well, I'm gonna leave this pissy phone box because it stinks, and I'm very happy that YouTube hasn't developed the ability for you to smell what I can smell because, well, 80% of you are probably throwing up at the moment. This isn't actually a typical shot that I'm going for today, but in front of me you can see the billboard which has the eyes on it, which looks pretty cool. So I'm going to just change the settings, go F4, 
thousandth of a second, ISO 100. Let me move a little bit closer. Just to get a shot of the eyes and somebody walking through the frame. To be honest, I don't want to spend too long here. I'm also, we don't want to take up that guy's space. Because this gentleman over here is also taking a photo similar. And uh, it's always nice to see. I saw him taking the photo and it inspired me to take the photo. So if you're ever thinking about going out, just go out. There's other photographers around. I didn't speak to him, but I saw he was taking the shot. I was like, oh, what's he taking a photo of? And I saw the billboard and I thought that is a really cool shot. So I'm going to go and take the same photo. And that is totally fine. I'm at a different angle. I didn't get the same exact shot as him, but he inspired me. And that's what it's about. Even people like me, you know, that have been doing it a long time, you find inspiration from different things. So just go out, shoot, and you'll get inspired along the way. We're at Trafalgar Square. As you can see, it's pretty busy. But this is just a nice little simple shot, I think, of just people on the stairs. Just doing... Just doing their thing. I'm gonna go down the stairs and look back up towards them. I mean, there's no real plan today. It's just about being out and getting some photos and kind of being back in London. It's quite a nice shot, really. I think definitely in landscape. I'm gonna put it up to my eye because I can get a better frame, maybe. I mean, it didn't look as good as I thought it would, but, but again, that's just how it is. Sometimes you take decent shots. We'll just use that one. Of course, it would be so rude of me not to stop off in Covent Garden. There's a lot of activity going on around Covent Gardens, including a lot of um, singing and different music. So I will get copyrighted if I go out into the main kind of courtyard, which I don't want to do for obvious reasons. So I'm thinking I might be able just to get a nice one in here, possibly. I mean, I'll take this shot anyway, just so you can see on the screen. I'm not going to win any awards with that, but... Oh, sorry, mate. Sorry, mate. So this is actually one of the archways that I've always wanted to shoot. There's a guy coming towards us with a really noisy trolley, which is very annoying. But it's always been one of those locations I want to shoot, but I've never actually... Never actually got around to shooting it. But with this like insane wide lens. <laughs> that was a really funny full circle moment. That guy just now that I nearly I said sorry to because I nearly bumped into. Oh, sorry mate, sorry mate. He's the taxi driver that said that. Of So I'm in it down to embankment and there's this really cool shadow. I've shot something similar to this before. But it's a really cool shadow of people walking across the, uh, the bridge up here, which I'll be crossing in a moment. But I'm just gonna wait for somebody to walk through the frame. It actually looks pretty good, you know. Okay, so I've actually ventured over to the London Eye to see if I can get a look-up shot here because I've got look-up shots here before, but with like 16 mil or 14 mil. So I'm gonna come center. I'm going. I'm, you're not going to be able to see what I'm getting, but it's pretty hectic. Nice symmetrical shot. Not something I've got before, but nonetheless pretty cool. Okay, so the shot that I get is up here. Put a bag down. I'm just getting this type of shot from here. The thing is, it's kind of the middle is in between the two posts. I've always wanted, I mean, it'll do, but the, I've always wanted to jump up there and actually get closer to the, the wires that you can see on the screen and get like a really insane shot. But every time I've gone to do it, every time I've gone to do it, there's uh, security come and tell me off so one day one day one day i'll definitely go up and get it with the 12 mil because it would look pretty pretty crazy i think with all the uh wires leading to the actual eye okay so 
I'm walking down South Bank and there is this okay. really cool like spot here where you can kind of do a look up shot. But I've done a look up shot here before, but there's a crane here now, so it doesn't look as good. But we're gonna get it anyway, because you can't do anything about construction and it looks pretty cool nonetheless actually with the crane. So I think once that building's complete, it'll look pretty cool. I mean, that does look pretty hectic, actually. I wonder how long until I get told off. Because I remember last time I came here, they were like, oh, you can't take photos here. No, 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 no. I mean, that's fucking, that's really cool. I mean, I don't know if you agree with me. To be honest, it doesn't really matter if you agree with me because end of the day, it's all subjective. And I personally like it. So that's what I've got to say about it. <laughs> Anything that way? I mean, that looks pretty cool. Sorry. Maybe if I get like that corner of that building. And then we'll get one facing that way. That's actually really cool. Sick. All right. Well, apparently London's become more lenient to photography, which is good for me. Now, I'm going to walk backwards because it's windy. Uh, I'm heading down towards like the Lloyds building, St. Paul's, you know, generic stuff, Tower Bridge. Um, I'm walking down that way, so. So I'm down on South Bank and this yellow staircase, but last time I was here wasn't open, um, which is one of my favourite staircases because it just looks really sick. Especially at 12 now, so I'm gonna get this person coming down the stairs. Tap to focus at the top. I mean, I'd probably obviously put a subject in there. But in terms of like portrait stuff, this would actually be pretty sick. So I think that's definitely a spot that I'm going to, that's definitely a spot that I'm gonna keep for future reference so that I can go there and maybe get some model shots of Roxanne, whenever Roxanne's back up in London with me. Okay, so I'm gonna get the uh, the generic shot that I've got probably a hundred times before of St. Paul's. But, as it's my kind of like first time back out in the streets of London, it's just nice to get the good old reflection shot now. I'm not saying I was the first person to get it, but ever since I got that shot, I've seen tons of people there, 35 mil or 50 mil. You can stand on here and then get like a leading line shot of St. Paul's, which looks really good. I'm gonna get the reflection shot, which I do like, but it obviously it requires less people. Reflection shot. Not really gonna get a reflection shot of St. Paul's, but we can definitely play around with this and get some shots of some people walking through the frame. So I've crossed the river again, um, and I'm walking towards St. Paul's. Uh, for anyone that's new here, maybe consider subscribing and having a look through some of my older content, because I've done this a lot. So I'm just gonna get a nice wide shot here of St. Paul's in the distance. I think if I go down, actually it might look a bit more dramatic. Get one down on the floor like that. And then I'm gonna get one up a little bit more. I'm gonna have to Photoshop myself out of it. So also a really nice shot is now they've put these flowers here, you can actually get in amongst it with this wide lens. I'm going to tap to focus on St. Paul's because that's where the focus is where I want it to be. So I've come up to next to the F1 arcade, which is new here. I haven't actually been to that yet, which is on the list of things I want to do. But against the side here, you get a really cool reflection shot, like so. 
I mean, if you made it this far through the video, you might as well subscribe. Also, all of the photos in today's video are edited in my presets. There's a link in the description for you to go and buy them. Super affordable, in my opinion, for what they are. You get 125 plus presets and an affordable rate. But also, let me know in the comments below, would you like uh, a photography guide, um, obviously for a cost, but would you like a photography guide for all of the locations that I've been to, all the different cities, so like Sydney, Tokyo, London, uh, Paris, Berlin, etc. Um, with my photos and my top tips of where to go, etc. Would you be interested in that? Let me know in the comments below because if you are, that's something that I can definitely look at doing. Okay, so just past a bank. Um, I didn't want to shoot anything there because there's a lot of roadworks and stuff. It doesn't look amazing. And I'm going to come back um, when I've got my 35 to 150 on because I think it looked pretty good. Up ahead there is a reflection. Let's see if I can get a reflection shot. It's going to be kind of the wrong angle I think. I mean it kind of looked okay with the cyclist, it didn't look too bad. But it looks good though. So that's 24. Because 24 you can get with the end building just in front of me. Come down to one of the OG lookup shops here in London, um, which is just by this lamppost, looking straight up at the buildings. It's pretty fucking sick to be honest with you. It's definitely one of my favourites, especially at 12 mil. I mean, you'll see it now on the screen. F2.8, 640 per second, ISO. 50. Well, let's go just right in the center. Over. Let's just do it one here as well, without that lamppost. That lamppost is nice though, because it gives, it's almost like a subject in itself. Um, and just this entire area, there's just, just look up shops galore, really. I mean, there's one there. Oh, we've got some people walking through. It's fairly nice. Okay, so I'm going to get a look-up shot of the actual Lloyd's building here on this side. I've never shot here with 12mm, and I'll show you a little trick actually. It is a bit windy, so I'm very sorry, but here. Uh, we'll see if we can... We'll stand by the gate. We'll do the generic look-up shot, first of all, with the uh, Sky Garden down the end. But if we turn it this way, and we're at 12 mil as well. And then I'm gonna take one shot like that. So like this, move up, one like that, and move up again. And one more. You stitch them all together in Lightroom and bish bash bosh, you have an insane panorama lookup shot. Okay, so I've got literally 10 minutes to get back over to Piccadilly. I will be coming back out with the 1224. Um, at night time so if you want to see that subscribe notification notification bell all that stuff presets are in the description i need to run and go get a train